All right. So for CS fifty's project problem set four, recover. There's actually this particular line of code in the walkthrough. So and a lot of people ask how does this work. So if we can see here, we actually have n f zero, which is actually the the hexadecimal equal equals to e zero hexadecimal. So how does this work? If we look at the problem set, it says that the fourth byte will actually be something that is e0 hexadecimal until ef. So if we look at the, the binary, it will be something like this. And then here we say that we'll actually do the bitwise n operation with f0, which is a, a hexadecimal. So let's see how do we do the, the n operation. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. If we do n together with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Zero and zero will be zero. False and false will be false, false, false. One and uh, false and, tr and true will become false because it's an n. So one and one will become one, one, one. So this is what happens to this. Okay. So let us pick another number. Let's say we want to try this one. Okay. So one, 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 zero, 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 one, one. And then n, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This will actually become zero, 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 one, one, one. See, it's the same answer. So what if I choose something that is a little bit further from from the example above? So what if I choose, let's say, the last one, which is f. One, 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 zero, one, 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 zero, and. One 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 zero 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 zero, so zero zero will become zero, zero 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 one one one. See, so this, this is the solution for this, and then it is still the same as this. So let's do a counter example that is different from this range. What if we actually use a number called let's say one zero one zero one zero. One zero. So this is definitely not within the range that we want. So if we actually end it together with one 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 zero 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 zero, then it will become zero 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 one zero one. So you see, this number is not the same as this number. So that's how this whole thing works. That's why one shot if condition can actually check for all of that. So this is, I think, the the magic of binary and the bitwise operation. So that's all. So have fun with CS50 and good luck.